This is a Suzuki Q chord. A funny little instrument with many, many built-in chords. Look, all of those. That's pretty much all the chords. One, two, yeah, absolutely loads. There's a four octave strum plate. There's a little wiggly whammy wheel. And there are 10 built-in rhythm patterns. Now, these are important because, and here's my announcement, I have made a Q chord album. That's right. I turned each of these 10 rhythms into their own song. And yeah, it's as stupid as it sounds. It's as stupid as this dance right here. But it's going to be really fun. You're going to like it. There's going to be a song about a snail. There's going to be a song about um, a chef who's sick of getting their food sent back all the time. There's going to be a song about things you might see on a boring walk. There's going to be songs about potato salad, about Terry's chocolate orange. Um, a snail, did I say that? A snail trying to cross the garden to find find their love. Um, yeah, all sorts of things. Uh, and then there's going to be um, this song, which is called the Two Chord Q Chord song. Pretty much what it says on the tin. Uh, quite annoying. I've added some extra instruments, obviously, to make it exciting. Plenty of guitars, cheeky synth, lots of vocals, um, much less serious songwriting than usual. Um, let's be honest, the Q chord isn't a very serious instrument. I mean, it's barely even an instrument at all. But it's a really exciting new approach to music to record and write songs on an instrument I've never played before. And yeah, I made this whole video to try and persuade you to listen to the album when it comes out. So if you could just listen, thank you. It's gonna, the whole thing's going to be like half an hour long. All the songs are like two minutes. It's, it's not a big investment in your time or any investment financially because it's free. So just have a good August and I'll see you in September with my new Q-Core album. Okay. <laughs>